So I'm going to go on a rant now and tell you why I think Alexander Usyk is bad for heavyweight boxing. Disclaimer, I am a fan of Anthony Joshua, but first and foremost, I am a fan of heavyweight boxing. So the first image I'm going to show you is the punch stats for the first fight. Actually, sorry, the second fight. The amount of output that these boxers were delivering was not typical to heavyweight boxing, right? Heavyweight boxing, for me, is all about knockouts. It's the ability to win by a TKO and not let it get go to the decisions, right? Middleweight boxing, featherweight, on all the other kinds of boxing, well, weight divisions, they usually rely on the judges. Why we like heavyweight boxing is because it, it hardly goes to the judges, right? From Muhammad Ali to Mike Tyson to Riddick Bowe, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, these people were knocking people out. Then came um, uh, the Ukrainian uh, Dr. Steelhammer, uh, I've forgotten his name. He was boring. People kind of tuned away from heavyweight boxing when he reigned, right? Because he, he, he did have punch power, but he wasn't really knocking people out. And the sport of boxing sort of took a, a dive with publicity and, you know, all that good stuff, right? Then came Deontay Wilder and then came Anthony Joshua who were knocking people out and then people started like looking out and you know everyone started getting into boxing again granted Tyson Fury was not knocking people out in the past but now he's doing that because he changed his style of boxing and that's benefited him so uh, this rant is just to underline the one reason why I don't think Usyk is good for boxing right Again, he won fair and square, but you should you can't dethrone the champion by winning by points and wanting to win by points, right? That that's the only way I think he thinks he he thought he could beat Anthony Joshua. That is win by points, and that's bullshit, right? Andrew Ruiz beat Joshua and knocked him out, and I think that was a fair and square win. That was like, yeah, you did it, you knocked out Anthony Joshua. Joshua did not touch the canvas one time in these two fights. Usyk was just running. Usyk was was tapping, tapping, tapping. And you can see the punch stats. Yeah, he had more power punches, but his power punches are like jabs. Again, this is not what heavyweight boxing should be. This is bad. This is just outright bad for boxing. If you're going to be the heavyweight champion of the world, the undisputed, you should not be winning by points. I think they should just take that out. Like, if you don't knock the guy out, sorry, you didn't win. Okay? Now, I feel bad for Anthony Joshua. And I think he'll come back, but I don't think he's going to get the belt again. Boxing these days is so slow before, uh, you know, one of the top guys fight. They fight like once a year. And then they have to fight their mandatories. Before Joshua sees another championship opportunity, it could be three, four years down the line. Yeah, he's 32, but at 36, how many times would he get to defend the title? I mean, they're going to be gone at like 38 because, you know, the younger ones are going to be coming up. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my rant. I hope... Someone knocks Usyk out. I think the best candidate for it would be Deontay Wilder. He would destroy Usyk. Because Usyk just runs around the whole ring. He's not doing shit. I think if Usyk fights Tyson Fury, it could be close. Um, but it would not be close if Deontay Wilder fought Usyk. Deontay Wilder would demolish Usyk. Uh, yeah, so that's my rant. I don't know what you guys think. If you're a fan of the sport of boxing, comment below, subscribe. Let's get the conversation going. Uh, yeah.
Oh, yeah. And I finally remembered the boxer that I was trying to remember his name, Vladimir Klitschko. He was a good boxer, also from Ukraine, but he was boring. He never fought in the United States as much. I think maybe just once. And he was just in Europe, just uh, boring. Okay? It wasn't until he fought with Joshua that he really showed the entertaining side of his of his boxing abilities. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen with Usyk. So, again, Usyk is a no for me. Heavyweight boxing needs a better face, a better talent. And, I, I again, I hope his next fight wouldn't be a journeyman. I hope he would be someone that can really take him to task. Uh, and, actually, looking back at Usyk's first heavyweight fight, which was with um, Tizora, you would see that he was just running. He, he never wants to engage. He jabs, slaps you a little bit, and then dodges. And it's just frustrating for a heavyweight boxer because heavyweight boxers know that when they engage, when they're in a the pocket, you know, it's one-on-one. You don't run. That's what Usyk does. He just runs. Uh, so if you're a fan of Usyk, you know, no disrespect. Just he's not it for me. Um... But yeah, again, guys, comment below, subscribe. I'm a big fan of boxing. Uh, so yeah, let's get the conversation going. And this is actually my first um, my first long format video. I usually post shorts, but I just feel like this conversation is important. And um, let's see where it goes. Cheers, guys.